Hey there, welcome back to Actual Edge. Today, we're diving into four diverse strategies aiming to cure HIV. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and share this important update with your friends. Let's get started. The repair and replace strategy has shown groundbreaking success in curing HIV for a few individuals. It involves replacing the body's HIV-infected reservoir cells with new ones resistant to the virus, often true stem cell transplants. Gene therapy, a promising avenue, aims to either remove HIV DNA from reservoir cells, modify stem cells to resist HIV, or prompt cells to produce inhibitors. Early successes were witnessed as early as 2011 with DNA snipping and stem cell modifications in 2013. CRISPR, a game changer in genetic engineering, initially showed promise in removing HIV genes from human T cells. Yet challenges arose as the virus rapidly mutated, evading detection and potentially enhancing resistance. To improve cell editing vectors, non HIV related virus shells, were introduced as a delivery mechanism for CRISPR. In, in trials on monkeys, this approach appeared successful in clearing viral DNA, but human trials showed limited efficacy. Studies using multiple CRISPR probes showed promise in blocking HIV production. However, challenges persist, requiring a combination of probes akin to drug combination in current HIV treatments. While gene editing technology like CRISPR holds promise, concerns about off-target effects and the resembly of viral DNA pose significant challenges emphasizing the need for extensive safety assessment. Recent studies in 2019 and 2023 explored alternative gene editing tools like zinc finger nucleases, also called ZFN to alter stem cells, showing promising delays in HIV reappearance and shrinkage of reservoirs. Gene therapy, although a beacon of hope, has faced controversy, exemplified by a notorious case in 2018. Despite this, similar techniques have successfully treated various conditions, showcasing immense potential. The road to using gene editing technology as a cure for HIV presents hurdles, yet it mirrors successes in treating other conditions. However, its current limitations, expenses and ethical consideration rem remain essential in its application for widespread HIV treatment. The kick and kill strategy aims to awaken dormant HIV reservoir cells, making them visible to the immune system. These cells, in a latent state, have evaded detection for years. Initially, it was hoped that the immune system alone could eliminate these cells. However, it became evident that additional kill therapies were needed to eradicate the reservoir. Various kill strategies have been explored, including therapeutic vaccines and CAR T-cell therapy aiming to either eliminate or suppress HIV-infected cells. Recent studies have shown promising results with combinations of therapies allowing individuals to maintain viral control even after stopping antiretroviral therapy for extended periods. However, challenges persist. The elusive nature of the reservoir cells and their ability to remain hidden pose significant obstacles. Emerging therapies like targeted activation of cell kill, also called TAC, and BH3 mimetics shows promise in selectively eliminating HIV-infected cells, presenting exciting prospects in the quest for a HIV cure. Imagine a world where we don't need to eliminate HIV reservoir cells, but instead control them, ensuring the HIV genes remain dormant, allowing us to coexist without viral replication. Post-treatment controllers individuals who received early antiretroviral treatment or so epigenetic silencing hinted at the potential of this strategy. Early treatment sometimes results in a smaller reservoir of intact proviral DNA, while chronic infection controllers may have inactivated HIV DNA due to natural epigenetic silencing, locking it away. Instead of activating dormant DNA as in kick and kill, the block and lock strategy aims to permanently prevent the transcription of HIV genes, rendering them inactive. 
Candidates such as the DCA have shown promise in laboratory experiments by inducing changes in proviral DNA, blocking its ability to produce new viruses even after ART withdrawal. Other drugs like kinase inhibitors and PD-1 agonists are being explored to maintain latency in reservoir cells, providing hope for new avenues in HIV research. Recent studies and the launch of global initiatives like HOPE signified a renewed interest in the block and lock strategy, paving the way for potential cures. Scientists speculate that using both strategies sequentially could lead to a functional cure, a world where residual HIV can be managed off ART. In the quest of a HIV cure, scientists are exploring immune responses that could potentially target and eliminate the reservoir of HIV-infected cells. The kick and kill and the block and lock strategies aim to reduce the reservoir of cells with intact proviral DNA. Yet, a robust immune response is essential to address remaining infectious cells. Unlike most infections, the body struggles to naturally clear HIV due to its ability to evade the immune system. If not for immune responses, diseases like COVID-19 would be as lethal as AIDS. Broadly neutralizing antibodies offer a glimpse of hope. They can neutralize multiple strains of HIV, recruiting other immune responses to suppress the virus even off ART. Studies using VNA abs showcased viral suppression in trial subjects paving the way for Gillette's Tyson study with teropavimab and sinilivrimab, achieving sustained viral control of ART. Viral vector vaccines inducing B lymphocytes in animal studies resulted in long periods of viral suppression, laying groundwork for further research. Antibody resistance and immune responses against foreign antibodies pose challenges. Vaccines aiming to induce diverse B and ABS production show promise but are at early stage. Studies inducing a diverse CD4 CD8 response showcased promising results, highlighting potential avenues in inducing functional cures. Trials incorporating therapeutic vaccines demonstrated the ability to maintain low viral loads in volunteers of ART showcasing advancements in immune response research. And these are the four strategies proposed to cure HIV. Which one do you think will work best? Let us know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video.